Prepare yourself, Lakers fans, because something big is brewing in Los Angeles. As the 2024-2025 NBA season inches closer, the Lakers are on the verge of a pivotal signing that could reshape their frontcourt and just might be the missing link to securing their 18th championship. Rumors are swirling about a towering 7-foot addition who could bolster their defense and take the pressure off Anthony Davis at center. But who is this mystery player, and what challenges does he bring with him? Stick around, because the details will leave you buzzing with excitement. Lakers fans, let's set a goal of 50 likes for this video. In the last video, we hit the target in less than an hour. Show that you're a true Lakers fan by hitting that like button so we can reach this goal quickly. Did you catch the latest buzz? Austin Reeves of the Los Angeles Lakers is already turning heads in off-season workouts, and his new teammate Quincy Olivari is more than impressed. Olivari, a former Xavier Musketeers guard, is facing a tough challenge as he works to secure a spot on the Lakers roster for the upcoming 2024-25 season. With the team's standard roster spots already locked up and their two-way slots filled, Olivari's path to the team will be anything but easy. He signed an Exhibit 10 contract, which could potentially open the door for a two-way or even a full roster spot, but it's going to take a lot of effort to break through. Standing at 6'3", Olivari was a standout during his time at Rice before transferring to Xavier for his final season, where he averaged an impressive 19.1 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 1.4 steals per game. Joining him in Lakers camp are Kyler Kelly and Jordan Goodwin, both also on Exhibit 10 contracts. During a recent interview with Trevor Lane of Lakers Nation, Olivari couldn't help but gush about Reeves, saying, and I quote, Austin Reeves is really, really good at basketball. It's different when you're out there with him, his smarts, how he baits you into certain plays, the way he runs the pick and roll. I was like, man, I can't wait to learn from him. Reeves, who went undrafted out of Oklahoma in 2021, truly came into his own during the 2022-23 season. He earned a four-year, $53.8 million deal after proving himself a key player for the Lakers. Last season, Reeves averaged 15.9 points, 5.5 assists, and 4.3 rebounds per game, cementing his place as a vital part of the team. His growth continues, and it's clear he's already having a major influence on his new teammates. Stay tuned, Lakers fans. It looks like Reeves is ready to take his game to the next level, and we'll be here to see it unfold. The Los Angeles Lakers are closing in on a critical move that could reshape their frontcourt depth as they prepare for the 2024-2025 NBA season. With championship aspirations burning bright and LeBron James still in pursuit of that elusive 18th banner for the franchise, the team is reportedly on the verge of signing a much-needed big man to bolster their interior presence. But let's dig deeper into what this move means for the Lakers, and more importantly, how it could affect the dynamics of their roster and upcoming season. First, let's set the stage. The Lakers are heading into the new season with high hopes after a summer that saw them extend LeBron James' contract. The two-year, $101.4 million deal ensures that the four-time NBA champion remains in Los Angeles for at least two more seasons. This signals a clear message. The Lakers are in win-now mode. With LeBron turning 40 soon and Anthony Davis battling his own injury concerns over the past few years, the franchise knows it needs to maximize its window of opportunity. The offseason didn't bring the blockbuster deals that some Lakers fans might have been hoping for. Instead, the team is largely rolling with the same core roster that they had last season. It's a gamble, but one rooted in a belief that this group can take it to the next level, given the right pieces and improved health. And speaking of health, that was one of the primary issues the Lakers dealt with last season. Injuries disrupted the flow and chemistry of the team. Key rotational players like Cam Reddish, Gabe Vincent, Christian Wood, and Jared Vanderbilt struggled to stay on the court consistently. Their absences created gaps in the lineup, leaving the Lakers without the rhythm and continuity needed to thrive in a hyper-competitive Western Conference. Fast forward to this season, and while some of those health concerns still linger, the Lakers know they need to shore up their front court depth. With Christian Wood sidelined to start the season due to off-season knee surgery, the team finds itself searching for reinforcements, especially at the center position. This brings us to the latest development. According to Shams Charania of The Athletic, the Lakers are in the lead to sign seven-foot center Christian Coloco, a former Toronto Raptor, in a move that could significantly bolster their interior presence. Coloco is not just any free agent. At 22 years old, he brings size, potential, and the kind of rim protection that could fill a crucial void for the Lakers, 
especially if Anthony Davis follows through on his desire to play fewer minutes at the center position. Coloco's journey to this point hasn't been easy. Earlier this year, he was sidelined due to a health scare involving blood clots, which barred him from playing or even practicing with any NBA team until he received medical clearance from the league's fitness panel. This was a devastating blow for Coloco, who had been building momentum as a defensive presence in the NBA. Now, as he nears a potential return, the Lakers are reportedly eager to give him an opportunity to join their squad. So, why Coloco? While he may not be a household name, Coloco offers a skill set that the Lakers desperately need. Standing 7 feet tall with an impressive 7 foot 5 wingspan, Coloco is a natural rim protector. His shot-blocking ability and defensive instincts make him a valuable asset, particularly for a Lakers team that struggled with interior defense at times last season. In addition to his shot-blocking, Coloco has shown flashes of being an effective rebounder and lob threat. These are qualities that could mesh well with a Lakers offense led by LeBron James, who is known for his ability to set up teammates for easy baskets, and Anthony Davis, who thrives alongside complementary big men. Coloco's presence would also provide relief for Davis, allowing him to focus more on his preferred role as a power forward and less on the physically demanding center position. Let's not forget, too, that Coloco is still young and has plenty of room to grow. His raw athleticism and defensive prowess could be refined under the guidance of the Lakers coaching staff, which has a track record of developing players into key contributors. Playing alongside veterans like LeBron and Davis would undoubtedly accelerate his learning curve and help him elevate his game to the next level. However, it's important to note that Coloco's return to the NBA is not guaranteed yet. He is still awaiting clearance from the league to resume basketball activities, and until that happens, the terms of his potential deal with the Lakers remain up in the air. But what could a deal for Coloco look like? The Lakers currently have a full roster with all 15 of their standard spots and all three of their two-way contract slots filled. This means the team would have to get creative to make room for Coloco. One option is waiving a player to free up a roster spot. Another possibility is signing Coloco to an Exhibit 10 training camp deal. This type of contract would allow the Lakers to evaluate Coloco during training camp and, if necessary, assign him to their G League affiliate, the South Bay Lakers, to continue his development. There's also the question of how Coloco's health situation might impact the Lakers' decision. Given his recent history with blood clots, the team could take a cautious approach, offering him a deal that provides some flexibility in case he faces setbacks during his recovery. Regardless, the fact that the Lakers are pursuing Coloco shows that they recognize the importance of adding front-court depth, especially with Christian Wood recovering and Anthony Davis's desire to play fewer minutes at center. Coloco's addition could also ignite some healthy competition among the Lakers' current roster of big men. While players like Jackson Hayes and Rue Hakimura are expected to play significant roles this season, the presence of a young, hungry player like Coloco could push everyone to elevate their game. The Lakers' coaching staff, led by Darvin Ham, has emphasized the importance of internal competition, and Coloco's arrival could be the catalyst that drives their frontcourt players to new heights. In conclusion, the Lakers are on the cusp of making a strategic move that could have long-lasting implications for their season. Signing Christian Coloco would address a critical need for size and defense in the paint while providing the team with a young, athletic player who could develop into a valuable asset. With LeBron James and Anthony Davis leading the way, the Lakers are poised for another deep playoff run, and adding Coloco could be the missing piece that helps them contend for their 18th championship. Stay tuned, because the Lakers' front office isn't done making moves just yet.